You are bigger than what people preach, oh Jesus. Bigger than what people say. Some say. Some say. Almighty Father, we are grateful. We worship you because you are bigger indeed than what people say because you are more than our thoughts. You are even more than what is written down. Great is the God we serve. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for bringing this your children here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. My desire of you is this, that in years to come, whether you are here in this camp or not, you will say, I thank God for bringing me to Horemo camp at a period of time because it has given me eternal life. It has shaped my life. It has made me a servant of God. It has established me in a family that fears God. It has given me a wife that knows the Lord. With all the good testimonies, because of what you will hear and learn in the campground. The Lord let me know that the paramount reason why you, in fact, why this campground is at all is to bring people to heaven. If that is the paramount reason, why should workers come to this campground? Be they staff or volunteer workers who come and go and we are not teaching them the word of God. What are they doing? Have they really come to do or to receive? It's better for you. Amen? It's better for you to be taught the word of God. To receive the word of God. Amen. That's why we say at least once a week we will be teaching you. I find as long as I'm available, I shall come before you and teach you. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the Lord bless you in Jesus name. Let's bow our head for prayer. Commit yourself to the Lord and say, God, we have come this morning in holiness of our movement come ground to receive from the Lord before we go to our respective walk. Hallelujah. Thank God you brought these people to transform them here in Horemokam. Jesus name we pray Almighty Father you are king we love you with all our hearts we would embrace our God Father we bless you look at these precious children sitting here all of us you created us and you love your creation you love these people sitting here. You want to make sure Satan does not destroy them. You want to remove them from Satan. Oh Lord, do it in their lives. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. That these people will testify, even in heaven, that the Lord has been my shepherd. He brought me to holiness revival movement. Though I came for some walk, but I didn't know I came to go to heaven.
to it break every power around them that wants to walk out dead in their lives in jesus mighty name let your power melt the the chains of satan in their body in jesus mighty name oh lord divine do your miracle over their lives thank you for answering in jesus name we pray amen, amen. you can be seated all right we're considering the judgment of gehazi the judgment of gehazi how many of you know gehazi in the bible okay gehazi was the servant of elisha the prophet and because he did evil god judged him and the judgment was bad the judgment was a bad one <laughs> god's judgment are always bad look at it in the book of second kings chapter five we're reading from verse 13. in this case naaman the leper came from a nearby country to israel called syria with capital city damascus Naaman was the captain of the king of Syria's army. He was the commander of the army. But he was leprous. Based on the law of Israel, he could not have ever been the leader of the Lord's army because he was having leprosy. A sickness that bad people from walking freely among men leprosy could be coronavirus in our day if somebody is uh, proved to be with coronavirus what would they do with him isolate him so leprosy was like coronavirus in the days of Israel in the Old Testament. And so if somebody was detected with it, he was isolated. So, but in the neighboring country where this law did not apply, he was the captain of the uh, Syrian army telling you in the place of light and righteousness where truth abounds the people that are called christians in their churches over there cannot be called christians in a place where righteousness and truth abounds but in those places of darkness where the truth is not known ah they are christians they're the ones in control so let no man be proud or conclude himself a christian because you are coming from any church the standard of righteousness we have here is high is high and as the word of god passes through you and you confirm to the word of God preached here according to scripture that we say this is a Christian because the Bible says in Antioch the believers gathered together the church gathered together and were taught the word of God and the name Christian came out first in Antioch because the word was being taught to the people that gathered in the church and the word transformed them and gave them new life that's what we want in your life that the word of god should be transformed 
to give you new life. I've told our brother in charge of the electronics and electricity that he should be playing messages around the camp regularly so that as you're walking, you're listening to the messages so that your life, your soul should be transformed. In fact, I told the staff that some of them who have been doing morning call, doing night call, afternoon call, hey, listen to me. They should go to where you're walking and say, hey, while you're walking, listen, Jesus is coming and start preaching there. So, if you see them come, you'll be walking by your hair. It's just like somebody is playing, playing drum for you while you're walking. Let the preaching be going on and your walking is going on. It could even be, I told them, they can stop you at work and for five minutes or ten minutes minister to you about Jesus. Because we really don't know. I've told you, Naaman was a captain over there, but when he came over to Israel, if he were an Israelite, he would have been ostracized. Is that so? Because he was leprous. So, it could be you are a Christian over there, you are a youth leader over there, you are this, elder over there, but when you come here, we say sin is in your life. Okay, you have come. We will minister to you the salvation of the Lord. So, if anybody stops you and is saying, I want to share the word of God with you, and you know he's a real Christian, please listen to him. He's part of the commission we have given to the staff of holiness revival movement concerning this camp. Amen? And I'm saying this to prepare ground for you whom the Lord has given the spirit of evangelism that you should prosper among the people of God in this camp. In Jesus name. Now, Naaman came to uh, Samaria because the king of Assyria had sent him to come and be recovered of his leprosy. To come and be cured through the power of the God of Israel. So, he came. And when he came, he was directed to Elisha. Elisha told him, go to the river Jordan and dip yourself there. How many times? seven times you know you see some people who are just looking at me it's because they have not been reading this bible can you see the lord will make this place a bible school for you in jesus name so dip yourself in the river seven times and the miracle you receive it he was angry uh, you want to fool me a captain mighty man in my country you are asking me to go and play like a child let's go back he, one, some of his servants came to him and said sir if the man of god had told you another thing would you not have done he said go and dip yourself in the river seven times so do it now it is after you have done and it is not no, no result comes out of it then you can say he fooled you but now you have not even done what he said he cooled down and went to the river Jordan to dip himself there seven times and the seventh time he got recovered of his leprosy and came to show thanksgiving so I read from verse 13 and his servants came near and spake unto him and said my father if the prophet had bid thee do some great thing would thou not have done it how much more rather than when he said to thee wash and be clean then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan and according to the saying of the man of God and his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child and he was clean 
praise the Lord. It's my prayer that the God of heaven will heal every sickness in your body. The disturbing sickness in your body. The shameful sickness in your body. In Jesus name. Now, miracle has taken place. Miracle comes from obedience. Obey, you will have your miracle. Miracle comes from faith. Believe what is told you by the word of God. You will have your miracle. Miracle comes by humility. Humble yourself before God. Before the people of God. You will have your miracle. Miracle comes when you reject the flesh. The pride of the flesh. The wisdom of the flesh. The boasting of life. Reject all your pride. Reject your wisdom. Reject boasting. You will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. Miracles are different, different, different. There is the miracle of healing, the miracle of deliverance, the miracle of prosperity, the miracle of marriage, the miracle of every kind. It all comes from one person. What is his name? Yes, the Lord Jesus, our Lord and Savior. It comes from God. So, humble yourself as you walk here. Do everything well as you're walking here. You will see that the Bible says, it shall be well with you. Take the righteous that I, the Lord, that made him righteous, recognize his righteousness, and that it shall be well with him tomorrow. So, your blessing, you might just be walking now, but the blessing will come tomorrow. You hear? The blessing will come tomorrow. So, do your work faithfully. Now, the man has gotten his miracle. Verse 15. And he returned to the man of God, he and all his company, and came and stood before him. And he said, Behold, now I know that there is no God in all the earth but in Israel now therefore I pray thee take a blessing of thy servant now I recognize the living God I recognize that no God in all the world so it means the people have been thinking that their gods all over the world was like the God of Israel. That's what we have been thinking. They never saw the difference. Some of you are using charm. You do not know the difference. You feel that charms walk like the name of Jesus. That's what you're feeling. And so you carry your charm about even in such a holy place like this you do not know that satan cannot break through the presence of god that you should come and give your life to jesus but you're carrying charm you're carrying a goddess or a god that they have given you you put it in your box you put it in your pocket you tie it in your waist and you're going about ignorant listen there is no power anywhere in the world more than the power that is in this camp for your information. No power, no authority, not even in the government, not in any witch, not in any wizard, not in any occultic man, not in any ring, not in any talisman that is compared to the power that is cheaply available in the camp of holiness revival movement everybody say amen, amen. you're wasting your time to be carrying charm about
repent of it otherwise the lord will trust you out of this place because you're coming with defilement Nehemiah, they have been having gods in syria but he now discovers as an old man he came and discovered it at an old age no power no god but the god of israel no authority no power anywhere in the world that is more than the power of god in this holiness camp be informed now that was his declaration now he said please receive mm -hmm. a gift mm -hmm. from me i want to present this now elisha wanted to correct the second opinion the first opinion has been corrected which is that that don't compare the gods of other nations to the god of israel now elisha wanted to bring the second correction to his mindset verse 10 but he said as the lord lived before whom i stand i will receive none and he asked him to take it but he refused the second thing is to say the gift and the grace of god is free don't be asking people to bring money so see it if you want the blessings of god no they are free you mean i can come like this and go free yes what if i had gone to hospital you would have spent much you are spending too much in this world you don't know that there's a place things can be done free for you you don't know that there is a god that will do things free for you you don't know that there is power available to make things free for you you spend money to buy charm free power everybody say free power free power is available in christ it's not with money you spend money to do this to do that but you can have it free you do a lot of burden there are things that you even worship you buy animal to kill it for it you go in the night and stand naked what are you doing that thing for there is free power the gospel is free freely ye have received freely give the name of jesus is free why are you wasting energy why are you wasting money why are you shaming yourself why are you rolling on the ground just because you need power from satan why do you go on fasting without me without meaning i'm looking for power they say i should do this there is free everybody say free 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 in christ free protection free deliverance free healing free prosperity free greatness free so look to jesus where you get it free you get your freedom free so that's what the lord wanted to correct elisha wanted to correct in the mindset of that man it's free for you you can go with all you have we are not looking for money we are not here to look for money if i had come there oh special prayer for you you will give special offering all of you will bring you money bring you money what is that for did the lord tell me so or you want to corrupt the presence of god in this camp in his name but that's what they're doing outside there yeah the lord will bless you come on how many of you will give this how many will do this so see it not here everybody said not here 
Here it is free. Say thou. Make sure you get this free salvation. Make sure you get this free blessing. It is free. Make sure you get your free deliverance. And for this to be, you must expose yourself. Tell us what's happening to you. Tell us your problem. To be treated, you must declare your problem. So now let's go. And Naaman said, Shall there not then, I pray thee, be given to thy servant two moles burdened of earth? For thy servants will henceforth offer neither burnt offering nor sacrifice unto other gods, but unto the Lord. Can you see? This treatment brought him now to the service of God. The first time, now I know that there is God, superior God. But that does not bring salvation. That does not bring salvation. The knowledge you have of God doesn't mean you're saved. Doesn't mean you need another touch it is called the second touch amen, amen. you know god yes jesus is there yes but you need the second touch you need the second touch what do you need see the second touch now that treatment of elisha brought the second touch and that Cause this man to be convicted. The Lord wants this second touch in your life to bring you out truly to serve Jesus. Second touch. Yes, you are here. I know God. And my name is who? My name is John. My name is Peter. Good. But you need a second touch. What is it? Teaching. Elisha taught him no discipline instruction practical example will give you second touch will give you second touch now see the second touch but what was the first touch what was the second touch in verse 15 and he returned to the man of God, he and all his company, and came and stood before him, and he said, Behold, now I know that there is no God in all the earth but in Israel. But that is not salvation. When did salvation come? He said in verse 17. And Naaman said, Shall they not then, I pray thee, be given to thy servant two moles burdened of earth? For thy servant will henceforth, can you see it now? It is from now. What about one minute ago? What about five minutes ago? I just knew that there's another, there's a superior God in Israel but now repentance shall henceforth offer neither burnt offering nor sacrifice unto other gods but unto the Lord alone give a clap offering to God it is at this point that he all charms that are in his hands will be destroyed i have promised god i will serve and honor nothing anymore it is at this time that the charm he buried in his house he's going to destroy them i have promised god now from henceforth 
I will serve the living God. It is at this time that the second wife, state wife, will be removed if you are in this present dispensation. Because it's the time of deep conviction, realization of self unworthiness and sin, and decision for righteousness. This is repentance. This is repentance. Have you come to this point? For all the periods you have been here, have you come to this point of genuine salvation? It is at this time immorality will stop in his life. Masturbation will stop. If he cannot stop, he will go and confess it. Please, everybody, help me pray. I will, this thing must live my life because I don't want to be defiled. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is at this time confession will be done. You are in witchcraft. You are in marine kingdom. You, are, you want to be free. You want to be free. Because you've made up your mind. You, have come, you are now in contact with the living God. The true God. Your creator. Not just... Job said, I'll be hearing of you with the hearing of the ears, but now my eyes see. Now my eyes see. Now go forward to see the next thing. Verse 18. In this thing, the Lord pardon thy servant, that when my master goeth into the house of Rimon to worship there, and he leaned, he leaned on my hand, and I bow myself in the house of Rimon. When I bow down myself in the house of Rimon, the Lord pardon thy servant in this thing. This man was ready to carry out righteousness in his office. I have a complex work that I do being the captain of the army. Anytime my master goes to worship as a captain in official position, I must go with him there. And there's a position I need to take for him to lean on me towards his uh, God. It may involve bowing. Let it not be shown on, be understood. Let it not be counted that my heart bows for that thing. No. Just for official case. Are you getting what the man is saying? This man means business. It's just like I am the driver of this man. Now, I will have to carry him to the mosque when he goes to pray. But let it not be counted that I am going to worship Allah. No. It's just an official duty. Carry me to the mosque. I have to carry him to where he will do his prayers. Let it not be that as if I am encouraging him. No. It's an official function. My heart is with the living God. It could be like a man, a Muslim man, who is converted and says, because of the present circumstance around me, I will go with them to the mosque. I will go with them to the mosque. I will enter into the mosque and do the bending down <laughs> and knock my head to the ground. But let not the people think that my heart is bowing to the Allah. 
I'm doing so for a wisdom because there are some things I need to pass into these people and I need more times among them and for me to do this thing among them and pass the the and fulfill what I want to fulfill to save some of them to pass truth to them I must do some pretenses that I am still a Muslim but I'm not are there people that do like do so exactly let you people not see as if and when they dismiss and i come and i'm coming out with them let don't let not my brethren say i have i'm still among them no my heart is for jesus while i am bending whatever they are saying i say jesus i hope you i know you understand and i say jesus you have understood everything in fact i'm here for you all this bending in jesus name <laughs> Is the Lord. He's not sinning before God. His heart is not on those things. He's to God. But it's only wisdom. By that, he can still get his wife properly turned to Jesus. So that they can bear the persecution together. He's still spending time with his wife. He can still turn his children to Jesus. They have not yet known. He can still convince other people about Jesus. Until when time, the time is up, he knows he's ready, he'll get out, get out of that place. Give a clap offering to Jesus again. Amen. If a man was not sincere, would he be saying this? Show sincerity in your life that you have changed. Say it. I have changed. Let there be a sincerity, a show in your life that you have changed. Let it be from the heart. For from the heart of man proceeds. Let it come from your heart to the point of solving the complex case. Even in complex case, assistant for Jesus. Then, now, Verse, verse 9 and he said unto him go in peace so he departed from him a little away who told him to go in peace your request is granted when salvation comes peace follows being justified by faith what do we have? We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace has come into him now. Go in peace. Go in peace. So he departed from him a little away then i want you to say may i not be gehazi miss gehazi not be my friend i reject company with gehazi verse 20. but gehazi the servant of elisha the man of god said Behold, my master had spared name man, this Syrian, in not receiving at his hands that which he brought, but as the Lord lived, I will run after him and take somewhat of him. Gehazi said, Eh? This man brought riches and wealth. Which, part, which type of man of God is this? The man is giving you, you say no. Me who am here now, how much salary are you paying me? That they brought more money for you to increase my own pay. Ah, it's you who don't want. <laughs> may I want. <laughs> you get easy. It's may I want. 
it's you who don't want i want you know there's some people that move around this camp and so things things something lie here like this another one lie here oh these people is that how they're treating their property well if they don't want it i want and you come to carry it what do we call such people what do we call them remember i said you should say you will never be gehazi neither be his friend nor be in his company don't carry anything in this camp because you say it is lying idle they don't need it like this bed that is there this bed you say look at the bed here i will carry it will you carry it in the daytime what time will you carry what time do thieves come to steal you and thieves who, what is the difference that is it our bamboos that are lying there which we used to demarcate children children program the full and new women came and started packing them packing pack all the bamboo and tie them to carry and be going they asked them when did you ask no they are lying i do they don't need them <laughs> you get it if you find a dry wood in somebody's farm are you not going to ask before you start cutting it but they don't know god don't do evil here don't do evil here don't take any property in the room or outside yes some of us can play carelessness but gradually it shall be walked upon and all those things will be packed the cds that were lying waste there maybe you just enter and enter oh books are here okay they have forgotten this one you start packing go there and see whether they're there the lord visited us and pointed those things and we have gone to empty them back to the store for jesus what if you have to carry them you will bring it back you will bring them back and do restitution otherwise god will say i am steering my people to come back and carry it so that's how he ran after man of god now when he went what did he go with elisha didn't know what was inside him there was an instrument he used there was an instrument what did he use let's go forward now verse 20 verse 21 so gehazi followed after naaman and when naaman saw him running after him he lighted down from the chariot to meet him and said it's all well there is an instrument that Gehazi had instrument of false prosperity and it is very effective instrument only that that instrument doesn't work long it doesn't work when God is involved it doesn't work when god is ready to judge a man now we will see the instrument and he said all is well my master had sent me saying behold even now there be come to me from mount ephraim two young men of the sons of the prophets give them not me yet give them i pray to not gehazi give them i pray thee a talent of silver and two changes of garments what was the instrument of false prosperity that he had lying lying hey elisha you employed somebody that doesn't fear God. 
you employed a liar to serve you. Okay, maybe he pretended with all investigation. He didn't reveal himself. Otherwise, the Bible tells us, be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. See him telling lies now. So you are a liar serving after the holy man. Elisha was a holy man. You are a liar walking with a holy man. You will use lies. He has gone beyond Elisha. God will handle that. So he has been using lies, 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 lies like this. So you have been using lies, 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 lies in your ways. And you have been prospering false prosperity. Mount Ephraim. See how the ways got coordinated. How do these people form their weights? Quickly like this. The weights are just issuing out. Issuing out. Not prepared. There's a spirit inside that is giving those weights. You have a spirit. And the spirit is called the spirit of Satan. Because the chief liar is who? Satan. He's the father of all liars. They all, you are of your father the devil because you are a liar when they give money to you go and buy this thing in the market you come and say this this one was like this this one that's how we bought it but it is not like that you are a liar your father is satan your father father is satan you never told the truth when they give you money to buy things your father who, who what is his father the name of his father satan. tell me again satan. tell me again satan. there are many people who have never seen their fathers with their eyes but they have a father have you seen your father with your eyes at all if you see that satan you will regret that a man with this type of face is your father a man that has horns and tail is it the one that is my father? It's like you carry somebody who has never seen his father with eyes that your father is in the village. Hey, I want to go and see him. I want to go and see him. And so they carry you. When you, when you saw a man, his stomach is on the ground. He was like, oh, oh. hey, carry me back, carry me back. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's rolling on the ground. This is my father. Never. Carry me back. It's better I never see him. But you're bearing his name. Your father is Satan. If you know his house where he's living. If you know his structure, how he is. You will not want to have anything to do with him. But you are a liar. You're not telling the truth. You're not giving truthful report. You're not giving truthful account. They tell you, how did you do this? Even the work you're doing here, you form, you fabricate, you, ma you manufacture work you didn't do. You give false report. What work did you do today? I did that one. I did that one. I did that one. In fact, I climb up down to this prayer here. I climb up and walk on top of this zinc. And our eyes didn't go behind to see what is on top of this thing. We believe that you said the correct thing. You will laugh as Agama Lizard. <laughs> I know how to manage to do it here. You are of your father who? The devil. May the Lord snatch you from him today. But you must stretch forth your hand for God to pull you out of him. Which means... I'm ready to repent. So look at Wugiezi. Look at the sweet tongue. Ready made. The ready made cloth. Just go to market and pick. You don't need to give tailor to begin to be you. Go to market, you pick your size. Go and sit and give you what to say. And the end of verse 23 said, be content, take 
two talents and he urged him <laughs> these people and he urged him and bound two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of garments and laid them upon two of his servants and they bear them before him this liar is a righteous one you hear me is a righteous one he went with righteousness so that he can succeed very well in his lies he went with two things one is what lie second one is what righteousness righteousness to support lies how did that happen name and say oh there are two people that came and he's saying i should give a talent please i will give two he said no my master says only one no i have them here i will give you two no you know this is not what my master said and i would not want to do anything that my master will go <laughs> <laughs> telling you these people they, <laughs> you think that they are you just easily find them it will take grace to discover those people because they are still carrying righteousness with them hey who I don't know whether Nehemiah, Nehemiah came to hear the story of Gehazi otherwise to Nehemiah Elisha has trained his people they are like him they are not covetous people. Hey, the master said it is two talent, one talent. Even if I give you two, you would have kept, kept one for yourself. I, 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 I know the judgment of God. These people are terrible. I'm telling you. <laughs> so you know about the judgment of God. Hey! Satan has really trained his children. Come out of him. Come out of him. Otherwise, when the anger of God comes on you for hypocrisy, for confusing people about righteousness. So, but Naaman praised him. Only the difference between Elisha and Gehazi is that with all the praising he praised, Elisha, Elisha did not agree, but he praised this one, he agreed. The difference was show. So he bound the two talents and two changes of raiment upon two of his servants. Hey, so Gehazi is a master too, that has servants. These servants that are serving a liar like this, are they not suffering? Will he not train them in this way? If he came with these servants, follow me, were they not there when Elisha was resisting those things? Were they not there when he left Elisha and Elisha didn't say anything to him? Did they not know that this is a lie? They just gave themselves to, to, to be serving him in lies, no reward. Because you saw sin, you didn't expose sin. You didn't rebuke sin. You didn't rebuke sin. You saw somebody stole something and you didn't report it. Ah, don't me. You are going. I don't even know whether he will give you anything from those talents, but you are going. You are wicked yourself. You don't love your master. If you love if the prophet, you will not want this liar to be before the prophet and be serving him. You have reported it. And not mind what he will do. There's a higher power to protect you from him. That's how you see evil and keep quiet and say you're serving Jesus. You and those evil people are the same. 
you and those evil people are the same because you saw them and you said nothing so that is it you know some of these people are very smart he will go inside the house in the room to meet with elisha uh, just i want to see whether the room is okay whether there's do you need some water no i, I don't want to i'm not looking for water okay thank you sir he goes up and says, my sir has told me to go and collect one talent of silver let's go quickly he is bringing an information that was not there just to confuse the servants and make the servants witness that Elisha told him the only the only thing the servants didn't know is what whether as he was coming from the room Elisha told him anything there or not but he came out hot like this I said the master said we should run after uh, that these uh, two people are coming I've received a telephone call that two people are coming he would have confused these people some are intelligent like that and when he came to the tower he took them from their hand and bestowed them in the house and he let the men go and they departed surely he didn't give them anything did he give them anything he carried them they were bound he cut the haste in which he want to finish this thing does he have time to pay somebody to give anybody anything he carried them from their heads to his room and say you can go you can go they left you are serving satan without reward you are serving the evil man without reward and you will suffer again from the hand of god because you serve that evil man you encourage that evil man when you know he's an evil man you didn't withdraw you didn't place stubbornness to him you didn't tell the man as peter and john told the sanhedrin we will be god rather than man you didn't tell him so he goes but he went in and stood before the master and elisha said unto him Whence comest thou Gehazi? And he said, Thy servant went no whither. This is lie number what? Lie number two. But we don't know really whether it is number two or three because we don't know what he told the servants. Is that clear? We don't know what he told the servants. So whether this is line number two or line number three, we are not aware. This is just summarizing whether there were some other small, small, small lies to join them. We don't know. It's only God and the book of record that will tell us the number of lies this man told. Because God was interested in his case, Elisha had time to ask him, where are you coming from which means god got elisha informed clearly about this young man god got elisha there are things you do in the camp your name will appear not every person's name anyway but some of you a clear revelation will be given somebody came to this camp and said he had been a demon possessed person but now he's delivered when he came we even gave him chance to testify here this is about two years ago we gave him chance on sunday well after the conference people had gone i gave him chance on sunday you know the boy that night a clear information of that boy came up by revelation how he came in why he came in the pretenses of his life the connections of his life everything plain early in the morning i got him out of this place it shocked him i thought i've succeeded in who told you god can keep 
quiet on someone but it's not everybody he keeps quiet so your case can be revealed who you are can be revealed because you're in the place of light if God keeps quiet maybe give you time maybe you will repent see it now in verse 26 and he said unto him went not mine heart with thee when the man turned again from his chariot to meet thee is it a time to receive money and to receive garments and olive ears and vineyards and sheep and oxen and men servants and maid servants the leprosy therefore of Naaman shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever that's the end of the covetous man many people come here and receive curse many people come to this camp and receive curse why they temper with holy things they practice lies they didn't do the work given to them they didn't give true account of the money given to them to purchase the things they requested they didn't give true report of what they were asked to go and investigate they didn't give correct report of the prices of those things in the market and they receive a curse so you're here for your good near heaven you are near heaven to easily enter but you can carry a curse if you know you cannot do it don't worsen your life go away don't worsen your life don't add sorrow because what will this money do Gehazi was a rich man for a period of 30 minutes <laughs> or maybe one hour the distance from collecting the money to his house and to Elisha's place is the period of great man but from that time of appearing before Elisha is a cursed man there is time interval his arm was too short what's the value of the money now could Elisha be mentioning some other things the man gave Gehazi that the Bible didn't mention because it's world the man came with company but what's the value now what's the value now what if you had served elisha faithfully and when he left you took over and as a man of god after him blessed is that word blessing and it will last forever that you rush to be rich he that hastened to be rich seen it as an ostrich sits upon her eggs and does not hatch them even so he that is rich by fraudulent means shall leave his riches and at the end perish so change your mind from i have come to make money i come to make money ah. If you make money by your energy fine by truth fine i think rather you should say i came to serve the lord as for blessing you the blessing will come now or later but let him see faithfulness in your life 
Then what is the end of the thing? Were they mere ways spoken to him? The Bible says, And he went out from his presence a leper as white as snow. Baba. And you know leprosy. You will not stay among the people anymore. You will be ostracized. Outside the camp. You will not stay among the people anymore. If you are passing by, they will give you distance. And there is a bell that is on your body. Leper, a leper is coming. A leper is coming. So that everybody should give way while you are passing. How long? Covetousness. Don't do that. Don't spoil your life. Don't take the property of God. Don't steal at all. All this smoke, you go to smoke India in him. Go and smoke all these drugs. And come so that your senses are lost. You have come here that the power of that thing should be broken. Seek freedom. And live well here. In Jesus' mighty name, you are instructed. Rise up upon your feet and tell the Lord, you will live righteous life. You give your life to Jesus. 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 You know Jesus, you know God. General knowledge is good. You know that he's a great God. But promise to live righteous life before him. Promise. Promise you will live righteous life before God. Don't carry property of God. Don't tell lies. In Jesus' mighty name. What shall a man profit if he's against the whole world? and lose his own soul what can he give in exchange of his soul i have nothing to give in exchange i have nothing to give open your mouth don't behave like in those places where people are praying and you don't pray Let the power of the Lord come down and transform the lives of these people. Let the power of God descend down and transform in the name of Jesus the lives of these people. Love God. Invite Jesus to your life. Let him come and change you. Let him come and transform you. Let him come and remove evil from your life. Save your people. Deliver them from the hand of the devil. Oh, 
open your mouth The word of God is the power of God unto salvation. The word of God is the power of God unto salvation. Save the people. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Lay hand upon your chest. Into my heart. Invite Jesus to your heart to take over and change it. Him like Nema. I will not serve idols anymore. I will practice righteousness. Call on him sincerely, sincerely. Into my heart. Lord Jesus close your eyes as you are praying worship power of God 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 lose you power of God save you in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name open your mother and tell him so him what you want to come into your life may God change you change you like Naomi change you like Naomi transform you blessed God In Jesus' name we pray. We are still praying. Jesus, come into my heart. Jesus, take over my life. Let your light shine in me. Let every darkness disappear from my life. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus, come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Lord Jesus, be seated on the throne of my heart. Reign in my life. Be my Lord. Personal Savior and personal Lord. Have your way in my life. Every contrary voice, every contrary spirit, let darkness be dispelled from my heart. Let darkness vanish from my life in the name of Jesus. A song says, Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All his wondrous compassion and purity. 
Holy Spirit divine, all my nature refine to the beauty of Jesus the Son of me. In the name of Jesus, oh, to be like you, blessed Redeemer. This is my longing and play. All that I am and all that I have, Lord, I'm bringing from this moment, all shall be thine. Jesus' name we pray. We have all confessed together and say, God, I don't want to be like Gehazi. I don't want to be Gehazi. We want to pray every spirit of covetousness, the love of money, the root of all evil, depart from my life. Open your mouth and pray. Reject the love of money. The love of money has ruined many, has wrecked many. You love money. Look at Balaam. The Bible talks about Balaam, the son of Bessor. He loved the wages of unrighteousness. He loved the wages of sin. Remember that the wages of sin is that. Open your heart and pray. God, I don't want to be like Gehazi. Gehazi was the servant of Elisha. Elisha was a man of double portion. And Elisha, son Elijah, he received a double portion. Gehazi also could have received a double portion. But because of covetousness, because of the love of money, two talents of silver. What gain is that now? What profit is that now? He received leprosy. He was white as snow. Not only himself, his own children, unborn generation. Generation of lepers. Generation of leprosy. Because of two changes of garment. Because he wants to change clothes. Open your mouth and pray. God deliver me from covetousness. From the love of money. Also the spirit of telling lie. Jesus name we pray your hand back to your chest if you want Jesus to serve you God your word is the power of God unto salvation to whosoever believes God you did it for Naaman an idol worshiper. You did miracle for him. His eyes opened to the living God. O King, Lord of heaven and the earth, Lord, you saved him and he became converted and a new creature. The power of God that converts and makes people new creature come upon them Amen. in Jesus name Amen. let the spirit of Christ enter in and change them in Jesus name let peace as Elisha said go in peace let that peace fill their heart receive the peace of god receive the peace of god in jesus name we pray the message you have just listened to is a production of holiness revival movement worldwide holiness revival movement worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816 902 Three nine four eight O zero eight zero five six eight three four three two three. You can also reach us through our email address Holiness Revival Movement at Gmail dot com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, 
but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my
you purchased me with your blood you are my lord and my savior you left your throne above and took up the form of a servant for my sin I believe, I believe. 